everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I turned this big Barbie head into an awesome little planter for succulents. So let's go ahead and get right into it. The first step isn't totally necessary, but it made me feel a little better. I took an alcohol wipe and just gave it a good wipe down, just to get rid of any of those thrift store germs. Now I'm going to take these ridiculously small scissors and cut off her hair. Taking some acetone and a paper towel, I go ahead and remove her factory paint. I know it seems weird to do because we're going to spray paint over this later, but it's going to give it a nice surface for the paint to bond to. Now I'm going to remove her head with this little tiny screwdriver. And here's the cutting disc attachment that we're going to use with the Dremel. Just a little disclaimer, please be very careful if you're using a Dremel. They're pretty dangerous, so make sure you have all your safety stuff that you need. Cutting into this doll head created tons of plastic dust. So also make sure you're using a respirator or some kind of face mask because you don't want to be breathing in that gross stuff. After the top of her head was removed, I noticed that the hair isn't glued into the head like normal dolls, it's actually sewn in. So I'm going to take this seam ripper and just start ripping apart the stitches and start removing the hair. Now for the fun part, the epoxy sculpt. The first thing I want to do is give her a closed mouth. I think the open mouth kind of looks a little silly, kind of goonish. I want her to have this kind of peaceful, relaxed expression, so I'm using some more clay and making her eyes look like they're closed, just by adding a little bit of clay to the base of the eye. I also want to give her a more defined eyebrow, so I'm adding some clay there. And I wanted to give her some cool elf ears. Why not? Let's get weird with it.
now we have to let the clay cure overnight. So in the meantime, let's go shopping. And this patio paver is the perfect size as a base for this planter. And it's heavy enough that the planter won't fall down if it's raining or if it's windy. Now I'm just gonna give her a few coats of this stone texture spray from Rust-Oleum. It took about three coats of this to get the full opacity to cover up all that pink paint on her torso. Let's bring her back to the work desk and start her shading. I'm gonna use some black and gray pastels just to bring back some of that definition that we lost, spraying the paint over the doll. And after a few good coats of matte sealant, I'm gonna start transplanting her hair. Now let's check out those final reveal shots. to my patio. As always, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!